How's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing a random Blu-ray shelf overview. I put a lot of the Blu-rays and DVDs onto the shelves in no particular order, and I figured it'd be kind of fun to do a random Blu-ray shelf to see which ones are right next to each other, and kind of a mixture because they're not in any order. Not yet. I do plan to organize them once I get everything situated. I do have to get at least one more bookshelf and two more uh, shelves for each bookcase. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you right there. There is the three bookcases. And I still have the ones on the floor, all the ones in the bags over there, some one in a couple boxes right over there. There's a box, actually, there's a few boxes in the closet too. Um, and I actually have more to bring over from my old place, so still have a lot to put onto shelves. And I definitely need at least one more bookcase, if not two. But I'm trying to just, you know, make it just one bookcase and put two extra shelves in each one. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the random Blu-ray shelf on here, number one for the new place. I did this before, and uh, you guys seemed to enjoy it, and I thought it was a lot of fun too. Kind of something random to do and something different. But let's go ahead and uh, check it out. We'll do this shelf right here, because I don't have all the ones up here on this shelf yet. A couple Nicolas Cage movies right there, Rage and Joe. But let's go ahead and do this one right here. Lincoln. Uh, I enjoyed the movie, but I think uh, it could have been edited a little bit. Daniel Day-Lewis, fantastic actor. I've been a big fan of his since way, way back in the day. And uh, he's in one of my all-time favorite movies, which is uh, Last of the Mohicans. Phenomenal movie. Uh, that The ending to Last of the Mohicans, that crescendo is just on the waterfall. Oh, amazing. But Lincoln, very good performances. Uh, again, I felt it could have been edited, though. Roger Rabbit, the 25th anniversary edition. Uh, I know there comes a slipcover with this one. This one did not come with it, though. And I'm thinking about getting the Steelbook. I know there's a UK Steelbook. So, love this movie, though. And I actually kept the old DVD because it came in cool packaging. I think I'm going to hold on to the DVD because of that. Hobo with a Shotgun with Rucker Hauer. This is actually the cool uh, Canadian slipcover edition right here. It includes a uh, collectible Hobo postcard set as well. And of course it has the, the French language as well because it's French Canadian. And then this pops out right there like that, which is pretty cool. I love that. That's actually really one of the coolest uh, slip covers out there in my opinion. I, I really enjoy those ones. Uh, Canada has a few really cool slip covers like that. But let's go hereafter. I need to rewatch this one. I remember liking it but not loving it. And I'm really trying to cut down on my collection as far as movies that I didn't love. I want to just keep it to movies that I can, you know, watch and really enjoy. And I remember, like I said, enjoying it but not loving it. So, Neverland. This is actually a really good, uh, like, mini series, original uh, movie. It's, I can't remember how many episodes it was that puts together. Maybe it's just two uh, that puts together the full movie. But I remember really enjoying this one. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, very entertaining and imaginative. Uh, next up is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close with Tom Hanks and Sandra Bullock. I thought it was a really good performance uh, from the young child actor in here as well. And I know, what is that guy's, Jeffrey Wright. I really enjoy him as, an, him as an actor and I just slipped my mind for a minute. He plays a small role in here. Max Van Seidel uh, is in here as well. Really enjoy him. Been around for forever. Yeah, Jeffrey Wright is uh, an amazing actor in my opinion. I really love him in the movie uh, Ride with the Devil uh, from Ang Lee. And I think uh, he doesn't get quite enough credit as being uh, a great actor in my opinion. Uh, the Lookout right there. Great cast. Really enjoy this one as well. I need to rewatch that one. It's been a little bit since I've seen it. But I always remember enjoying it. Black Swan. Um, kind of a, an older uh, swashbuckler uh, pirate movie. And I love the interaction between uh, Maureen O'Hara and uh, Tyrone Power. And just the one scene where she's like beating him up was really funny. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's a good romance story as well. And I like seeing those kind of like epic pirate movies. The Kingdom. Oh, this one is fantastic. I really love the ending uh, when they figure out who the terrorist is. Uh, love this movie. Great performances, great cast. They all did excellent in that one. Braveheart. This is the Sapphire series. Fantastic film. This was before uh, Mel Gibson went crazy. Haywire. 
I thought this was pretty decent. I wanted a little bit more from it. Fantastic cast. Uh, I really enjoy Michael Fassbender as an actor. And I thought Gina Carano was fantastic. I think she should be in way more action movies. I know she was in another one. I think it was called In the Blood that recently came out. And I can't wait to see her in more action movies because she definitely deserves to be an action star. A great female action star. That one, she really showed her chops in that one. And uh, I thought it was good, but I just wanted a tiny bit more from it. But great performance from uh, Gina Carano. Swordfish, Halle Berry. Mm. There's some crazy, ridiculous scenes in this movie. The one scene where um, Hugh Jackman is being teased, essentially, while he's trying to do some computer stuff. And then the scene uh, towards the end with John Travolta. Uh, there's tons of crazy scenes in there. I really enjoyed Don Cheadle as an actor, too. Uh, he was in one of my favorite sports movies ever, and that's called Rebound. Uh, the Legend of Earl Goat Manigault. Fantastic in that movie. And that deserves a uh, Blu-ray release as well. The Reader, and uh, Kate Winslet and Ralph Fiennes. Body of Lies. How does Leonardo DiCaprio not have an Oscar? I think he's got, under his belt, several Oscar award-winning performances. I am not a fan of Wolf of Wall Street. I know that's an unpopular opinion. Uh, I thought the movie just lacked substance. Uh, the characters went from zero to 60 right off the bat. I know the performances were good, but the film itself just didn't do it for me personally. The soundtrack was fantastic. Uh, there's a few other technical things that I think it was good at, but overall, I just I know it was based on a real story, but that doesn't make the story any more interesting than it is. Um, but there's other performances I think he deserves to uh, have an Oscar for. Um, but that's me ranting, and I know, again, people love The Wolf of Wall Street. I'm just not one of those people. Last Action Hero. I know this got a re-release uh, from Mill Creek, which I might pick that up. Uh, because this cover is nowhere near as good as the newer cover, which is way more fitting. And it's, it's a fun, cheesy action movie. Uh, Leaves of Grass, which I still haven't checked this one out. I got this at Blockbuster when it closed down for a buck. So, can't be mad at that. And uh, I think Edward Norton plays twins and there's weed involved. Alright. Uh, Bad Lieutenant, the port of New Orleans. Uh, not the Harvey Keitel one, the crazy, crazy Nicolas Cage one. Uh, I think uh, Exhibit was in here as well, and Eva Mendez. Oh, she's so hot. Oh, stunning. Want to touch the booty. The hiney, actually. <laughs> Sushi Girl. Um, this was kind of crazy. <laughs> Basically, uh, Mark Hamill was just a just outrageous nut job on this one, but some really cool performances in here. And uh, nice to see this cast together, too. Uh, Noah Hathaway from Neverending Story all growing up as well. James Duvall, Tony Todd, uh, and then the, the sushi girl herself was smoking hot. Uh, there she is right there laying down on the table. And I was able to get this all signed up by a bunch of the cast members, so pretty happy with that. Raging Bull, fantastic biopic, fantastic performances in here. Classic scenes and just crazy, crazy to see how he really was and how he treated people and how warped his mind was. New York stories, uh, I really enjoyed the Woody Allen story and the Nick Nolte story, the third story I just couldn't stand. Um, but yeah, those two stories are definitely worth checking this one out. Blood work with uh, Jeff Daniels and uh, Clint Eastwood right here. I thought this one is decent. I think it could have been a little bit better. I figured out the twist of who the killer was pretty early on because there's only a few you know, cast members and you know it's gonna be one of the cast members and yeah. A Perfect World, which I thought this was fantastic and very underrated. A uh, earlier Clint Eastwood directed film, and really loved Kevin Costner in this. Um, Clint Eastwood plays the the sheriff in there. He's doesn't have a whole lot of screen time, even though the back makes you think that he does. Um, but he's in there, I, I guess, a decent amount. But still, very enjoyable uh, film right there. And Rum Diaries, which I picked up from Stop and Shop for five ninety nine. I haven't checked this one out, but I really do enjoy a lot of these uh, adaptations from Hunter S. Thompson, and I like Bukowski as well, and a few other, you know, alcoholic writers. Uh, but yeah, Johnny Depp, I really enjoyed his performance in um, Fear and Loathing, so hoping to enjoy that one as well. I've heard some good things. Down to You, which I really enjoy. This one is a romantic comedy movie, and I, I liked uh, Julia Stiles. I had a crush on her when I was younger, and Freddie Prinze Jr., uh, this is kind of the craziest suicide attempt one on film. He drinks like a bottle of shampoo, I think it was, and he ends up, you know, going to the hospital because of it, but pretty crazy. But I like that film for a romantic comedy. Jiro Dreams of Sushi, great food documentary. 
The Shipping News, really enjoy this one as well. I, I think Julianne Moore is, I think she's hot, basically. And I've always had a crush on her. She's got that whole sultry thing going on. And the whole cast is good. Kate Blanchett, uh, Kevin Spacey, uh, Dame Judi Dench in here as well. And it's just basically uh, kind of a sad story in the beginning, but uh, it all, it, it works out. It's kind of a dreary look to the film, but that works for the, uh, the tone of the film as well. And Donnie Darko, this is the 10th anniversary edition. I wish it had the slip cover, but it doesn't. And love the heck out of this movie. Uh, early Seth Rogen, which again, I'm not a big Seth Rogen fan. I like him in uh, supporting roles, but not leads. But great trippy film. Pulp Fiction, classic. Flash Gordon, love the heck out of this one. Queen soundtrack, everything about it. Just fantastic fan, uh, fantasy movie with Max Van Sydow as well. Uh, the Conversation, love this film. This is a personal favorite of mine. Just that paranoia. The final scene in here still, to me, is one of those scenes that just sticks with me. Absolutely love it. Definitely check that one out. Stranger Than Fiction, probably my favorite Will Ferrell movie. It's not his typical slapstick movie. It's kind of a dark comedy movie. And I, the cast was great in here. Will Ferrell, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Dustin Hoffman, Queen Latifah, Emma Thompson. Uh, just a really quirky movie that I would highly recommend. The Marrying Man, haven't seen this one in ages. Uh, Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger. Roach Perdition, love the heck out of this film. Uh, probably one of my all-time favorite films. That ending is another one that sticks with me as well. With uh, Jude Law at the end. Really sad and touching, but so beautifully shot. Just everything, the motions in that one. Ah, love it. Ice Age, The Meltdown. I love uh, the Ice Age movies. The Meltdown, actually, I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, Dawn of the Dinosaurs 2. Was, Dawn of the Dinosaurs might be my favorite of the series, actually. It was just a lot of entertaining fun, and uh, I think it deserves way more credit uh, as a fun animated series. Mars Needs Moms from uh, Disney. Valkyrie, which I still haven't seen. Um, heard great things. I'm a big Tom Cruise fan. I know that's not a popular opinion, but I think he's a great actor. And considering so many actors and directors have done crazy, outlandish, illegal, just despicable things, and Tom Cruise gets put down because he got excited and that Oprah Renfrey thing, and he jumped on the couch, and he has a different religious belief uh, with Scientology. Uh, but I enjoy him as an actor, and I think he's very talented, and a Blu-ray slipped into the cracks here. Oh, it was Mars Needs Moms. Let's... I don't know why I'm putting this back in order. It wasn't in any order to begin with. Uh, Made in America, I still haven't seen this one. Uh, I think it's just a concert uh, documentary right here with a whole bunch of interesting mixture right here. Uh, Skrillex, Jill Scott, uh, Kanye West, Passion Pit, Odd Future, Janelle Monet, Pearl Jam, Run DMC, D'Angelo, Jay-Z, The Hives, Mike Snow, uh, Dirty, Projectors... It just sounds like a really interesting documentary, actually, and it's uh, directed by Ron Howard right there with Jay-Z. It's an interesting mixture right there. Transcendence, I really liked the concept of this, but I wish they would have pushed it a little bit more. They played it too safe, and the ending was a little bit too romantic, and I, I just wanted a little bit more. I really enjoyed the concept, though. Uh, the People vs. Larry Flint. Uh, I really enjoy Woody Harrelson as an actor as well. I don't think he gets enough credit. And this was fantastic performances all the way around. And kind of an interesting uh, story as well about uh, Larry Flint. Kind of a biopic right there. And License to Drive. Love this. So much fun. And the Corys together. I wish I would have kept the DVD though because the DVD had more special features than this Blu-ray. And I hate when they don't port them over. The Labyrinth. Classic right there. I grew up on this one. David Bowie, Jennifer Connelly. It's just very imaginative. The one scene where the creatures were like taking their heads off and like juggling them, that freaked me out when I was a kid. <laughs> but love that movie. Unstoppable. Uh, the second best Runaway Train movie after Runaway Train with um, Eric Roberts and John Voight. But this one was actually really good. Very tense, palpable action in there. Uh, Betsy's Wedding is one that I haven't seen in a long time. Got to check that one out again. Another one I haven't seen in a long time, Money for Nothing with John Cusack. Trust. Uh, this one is one of those ones I think is actually uh, very, you know, for the times and society, uh, it's very uh, poignant uh, considering, you know, that people meet people off the internet all the time and they may not be who they say they are. Um, Clive Owen, uh, Catherine Keener, they all do a pretty good job in here and it's 
kind of a tragic story as well. The proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds got this set up. Uh, Blockbuster for, I think, a buck. I still haven't seen it when they closed down. The Tree of Life. I need to rewatch this one. I remember actually thinking it was visually stunning, but it didn't have that much substance. I'm a big uh, Terrence Malick fan from back in the day. His older films uh, just don't really hit me as much. Uh, they're nice to look at. The DP does a great job. Uh, but besides that, I just, I just want more from the substance-wise. Uh, Goemon, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, Alien vs. Ninja was so over-the-top, ridiculous, cheesy, and fun and entertaining. That was a good time. It's so just crazy. Um, but I loved it for those reasons. Natural Born Killers. This is the original uncut version. The Digibook uh, is not the uncut version, so that's why I picked this one up right here. This is the director's cut as well right there. Great performances again, Woody Harrelson. Uh, the American with George Clooney. Limitless, which uh, I like the concept a lot to that. Uh, this is uh, the triple feature of Diamogen. I actually have not seen this yet. Diamogen, Return of Diamogen, and Diamogen Strikes Again from uh, Mill Creek. It's a two disc set. Tai Chi Zero and Tai Chi Hero right there. And back to 1942. And this stars uh, Adrian Brody, uh, Tim Robbins, and Nightfall. And those past few ones right there, uh, the past five were from Welgo, USA. The Three Stooges movie, which actually I thought I was going to hate this movie. Uh, this is from 20th Century Fox, I believe. Do -do 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 -do. Can I pull this out without? Yes, it is. I thought I was going to hate this movie, and I actually ended up uh, enjoying it. I thought it was uh, decent fun. Larry David was great in his role. And uh, the one guy who played uh, Mo, I thought was excellent. He was the one that was like the, the least well-known, I think. And I think he did the best job by far. And I, it was much better than I was expecting. I liked it. And I like some of the uh, special features on here as well from some of the relatives of the original Stooges. And Red Lights. This is one that's grown on me. When I first watched it, I wasn't a huge fan of it. But it has great atmosphere and it's definitely grown on me. I think I'm going to keep it in the collection because it's, it does have some creepy aspects to it. And I like the, the twist going on to it. Right there with uh, Killian Murphy, uh, Sigourney Weaver, uh, Elizabeth Olsen, and um, Robert De Niro. So there you go. That is random Blu-ray shelf number one. And I will probably be doing some more of these. Again, I don't even have... Uh, i got to put another shelf down there. But I want to get two extra shelves for each bookcase. And there's probably going to be at least one more bookcase. Possibly two. I'm definitely going to get one more. But... Hope you guys enjoyed this random Blu-ray shelf. Uh, let me know if you've seen these movies and what you think of them as well. And hope everyone's doing well. Take care.